Hey guys, how you doing? Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Today, I've got a gorgeous 2020 NRC motorhome. This is on the Freightliner Cascadia chassis. It's a quad slide, and it's got 600 horsepower under the hood. So, lots of power. It's got the 12-speed ultra shift in it. So, for you guys looking to tow, uh, we've got you covered there. That 12-speed will get the job done. Quad slide, 35-foot conversion, which makes this guy about 46-foot overall length. Uh, new style Cascadia chassis. You can see those LED headlights. Much, much, much brighter than the uh, headlights that uh, Freightliner you know, previously used, the halogen style. So much brighter on the headlights. Kudos to Freightliner on that. Um, 83,500, I think, actually, 83,498 miles. So might as well say 83.5 on it. Um, two slides on the driver's side, as you can see. Two slides over on the passenger side. Um, down this way on storage, the first box, we've got um, batteries in there. Second box, so the first box is actually our engine batteries for uh, the actual engine of the coach. The second box, we've got four of the big Lifeline batteries, which are a very high amp hour. And those are our house batteries. So those are the 12 volt batteries that are running the 12 volt side of the coach. Um, on down from there, we've got our uh, sewage bays, uh, some more of our uh, storage area, our inverters in one of them. And then we have the generator and then our uh, electric shore power reel back here. Generator is, um, is in one of them and then the electric reels in the very back. Um, and actually, I think this one right here, second one up from the rear, is actually our fresh water tank. So uh, quad slide coach, as you can see, again, two slides on each side. We've got the 40,000 pound hitch. Uh, we've already got the glad hand fitting. So if your trailer's air ride or air brakes, uh, we've got you covered there. A little bit about NRC. Um, you know, they're not a huge company. A lot of people will, um, you know, will message us and, hey, who's NRC? NRC is uh, very similar to Show Hauler. I don't know if you've ever heard of Show Hauler, but uh, they're both, I think, uh, based around the Middlebury, Indiana area. So it's up around Elkhart County, which is where, uh, like, you know, Renegade and a lot of your big RV manufacturers are located. So NRC, um, smaller company compared to, like, Renegade, but super, super good quality. And if you'll take a look at all the photos I think you'll agree with me. Um, the construction, uh, how they're built, it is a steel frame with aluminum skin and aluminum trim. So built for durability, uh, built to last, and uh, you can tell just the fit and finish is really, really good. Um, on this one, it does have the outdoor entertainment area, as you can see the TV there to the left of the door. Um, you'll notice in the photos, and actually I should have ran it out for the video, but it's got a propane grill and the outdoor uh, freezer cooler. So all that uh, is included on this coach. It was put on it when it was built new. It's got the dual carefree awnings. Uh, so both of those guys come off the roof. Uh, they are separate. So you got the front one, the rear, you can run uh, one or the other out or put them both out as I've got them right now. So um, fuel capacity, I'm thinking, so I know we've got 90 gallons on the passenger side, and that's down here where that little door is at. See that little door? There's 90 gallon tank there. Let's go around to this side and see what we got. Okay, so on this side, because I do want to give you the capacity, here we go. So we got 90 and we've got 80. So we've got 170 gallon capacity on the diesel. Incredible. So 170 gallon capacity. I was reading in the build specs, uh, this coach holds 210 gallons of fresh water. So uh, it is a bath and a half. So you've got uh, plenty of fresh water on board to spend a weekend or heck, you could probably stay in this thing a week with that, but 210 gallons on board. Um, it does sleep up to eight people comfortable. So you've got a couple of jackknife sofas up in the main part of the coach. You've got a bunk over the cab. And then you also have the master bedroom. So take you for a quick spin through the interior here. All tile floor. As you can see, let me get in here and kind of zoom out where it gives you a good view. All right. Um, so you come through the 
entry door there, and you've got the kitchen area, which is a looks like a two burner induction cooktop, convection microwave. Look at the uh, choice of the granite there. Wow. Whoever picked the colors out did an incredible job. Very modern. Um, I like the grays and the blacks. Very, very, very nice. So, um, as I mentioned, two jackknife sofas. You got one on the passenger side. You got one over here on the driver's side. One thing I've always noticed in our NRC uh, conversions, even the older ones, check out all the lighting. All LED, even in the ceiling. And what they do is they put a like a rope light against a mirror and it gives it like what they call an infinity mirror effect. So check out the door, like it too. Oh, the door's electric by the way. So you just go up here, on off, and then open and close. Oh yeah, check that out. Um, air ride seats for both driver and passenger. You got your Voyager, uh, Voyager camera system. And this coach is pre-wired to where the uh, Voyager cam plugs on the back. So if you got a camera on your trailer, you can piggyback it right into the truck and watch your uh, trailer camera from right here on this dash. Again, it's uh, in-dash navigation. 12-speed uh, ultra shift in it. So really the ultimate combination. So you were getting ready to close, want to block off all those people up late partying on the way home from the race or whatever, boom. Tune them out real real quick. All right, so up above the cab, we've got a bunk. I'm going to say that's every bit of a queen-size bed, okay? Uh, big Samsung TV there in the middle. You got another jackknife sofa down here. And then um, on down, you've got the dinette. Now, the dinette is stationary. The table does not move. Um, if you needed to sleep 10 people, uh, we do keep the kit in stock that we can convert that for you. So keep that in mind. That is an option. You've got the uh, matching uh, table there for the dinette that matches your um, kitchen area. Check out the sink. Okay, so double basin, big stainless sky there, like it. And um, then over here, we've got uh, Whirlpool. So Whirlpool residential fridge, and it looks like it's got ice and water in it. It's very nice, very clean. One thing I, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a 2020, and it is a one owner. And trust me, that makes a difference because... You know, one person's been keeping up with it, and if they've done a good job, which in this case they did, um, you're in luck. If you're going to be, if you're buying this and you're going to be the next owner, if it's a one owner and they took good care of it, uh, that's a good thing. So um, up here above the mid-entry, we've got all of our controls. So we've got three AC units, all 15,000 BTU, control there for the front, control there for the rear. We've got our awning control, and then I'll zoom in on the lights. You can see we've got living room, kitchen, front cabinets, porch lights. And this thing has like ambulance lighting on the side. I don't know if you noticed that in the first part of the video, but it's got some super bright LED lights. Um, we call them scene lights. So they use them in the ambulance world a lot. But And then um, up overhead, we've got our inverters. I think it's got around a 3,000 watt inverter, uh, Magnum Energy brand. Um, 12,500 watt Onan diesel generator on board with looks like around 3,800 hours. Uh, Direct TV, it's got in motion satellite, um, DVD player, Sony AM, FM, Bluetooth stereo that will jam. Gonna go ahead and throw that out there. Black cabinetry, as you can see through it. And again, look at the ceiling. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, all of the original keys, owner's manuals, remotes. Everything's in those tubs, comes with it. And here is the cool part. So the, the main it is a bath and a half. A little different design. The half bath is in the back. As you can see, we're in the kitchen fridge. We've got a door that opens up. Check that out. How about it? Okay. So a little uh, vanity there with a glass bowl uh, sink. And overhead medicine cabinet with lighting. And then you've got a toilet, plenty of room too. So I can come in here. Some of these are so small. I'm going to close the door and I'm going to look down. I've still got plenty of room, at least three foot, maybe more before the door. 
But I love this. Check out the shower. Custom hand laid tile, compartments to put your soap, your shampoo, skylight above, love the lights in it too. Very nice. Good job to the guys, kudos to the guys at NRC on this one. Um, it does have what we call wainscoting around the base. Um, so you can see around the, um, the lower part of the walls, you've got the wainscoting. Helps keep it protected. Some cabinets here in the hallway. And then we'll make our way on back to the master. And so we go in here. And again, two slides. They are opposing slides, so it gives you lots and lots of room. Um, we've got a Samsung TV, a Bose soundbar, DVD player all built in. Um, got your own air conditioner back here and your own ceiling fan. How about that? It also has a way to uh, start the generator. So over here, if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night, feel like you need to turn that guy on, you can actually turn it on right there. Um, you've got more of your lighting controls and everything here. Um, all brand new bedding. It's got, um, I think it's a maybe a Serta or Tempur-Pedic um, memory foam mattress, so very comfortable. And then the half bath. So back here, um, look down there. You've got some drawers, storage. Uh, beside the bed, plenty of room to access either side of the bed. Uh, you've got another Tecma toilet. The toilets are black. I like that. And then um, just the half bath is simply a medicine cabinet, a little vanity, another glass bowl, um, some storage behind the um, the toilet there. So one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna hit on on this NRC that I like, and the customer that bought it was one of their main concerns. Um, with the unit that they purchased from me when they traded this was storage. And I understand why, because there is cabinets everywhere. There's cabinets above the bed. There's plenty of cabinets over here uh, where the TV and a little entertainment system. They've got some down here to the left of the bed. I'll kind of zoom in. There's three or four drawers you can see there for your socks and, and stuff like that. Even behind the toilet, nice cabinets. And then let's go up front. Because that's one thing that sticks out to me when I think about this coach. They had a real concern for storage with the one that I sold them. So <clears throat> even a couple little cabinets above the fridge, similar to what you would see in like a home. And then cabinets galore in here too. Um, cabinets over here on this slide, even in the, um, the little slide here. So um, 2020 NRC quad slide. Um, 83,500 miles. Uh, it's got the 600 horsepower DD16 Detroit engine with the 12 speed ultra shift transmission, no clutch pedals. So you just fire this dude up and, and take off. It, if you can drive the average pickup truck, you can drive this no problem at all, I promise you. Very simple. Don't let it be intimidating. Uh, get out and do a little test run and then. Um, you will be a pro in no time. So we'll take one quick look on the outside of it. It is registered as an RV, so registered as a motorhome, outdoor entertainment. Um, let's actually pop these guys up. I don't want to go much longer on the video. We try to keep them at a 10 to 12 minutes is my goal, but I'm a talker. You've probably already figured that out. Um, I love talking and showing you guys what I know about them. So uh, propane grill, as you can see there on a slide. Dometic cooler on a slide. So you can uh, roll both of those guys out, have your cooler, have your grill, tailgate um, before a game. You know, we've sold these to a lot of people that uh, use them at football games and stuff too. So um, lots, of, uh, lots of opportunities with a coach like this. You can pull heavy weight. Um, they drive very, very, very nice. Um, easy to drive. Uh, secure, you've got a nose in front of you compared to some uh, other motorhomes uh, on the market. So, um, But Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. Um, we'll put the website up there on the screen. Also, hit the subscribe button. You'll see it there. Um, subscribe to our channel if you don't mind. We're trying to gain as many um, followers and subscribers to what we're putting online. So I uh, would love to have you a part of what we're putting on there and uh, if we can do anything for you, please give us a call. Um, my number will be there on the screen, 270-556-8461. You can call or uh, text me anytime, and 
We do offer financing. We deliver nationwide, literally coast to coast. Uh, we were out west here, um, went to Eugene, Oregon about a week ago and um, got a driver and a coach heading to Phoenix, Arizona now. So again, Dylan Thompson, I appreciate your business. I appreciate you watching. And uh, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Until the next time, have a good night.